Okay, guys, everything um, that we just talked about is in this movie. I'm going to try to go quickly so that you can um, just watch it if you've forgotten a step. So um, very quickly, as you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make our own remix of Ode to Joy and trying to make it fun. And it shouldn't, nobody should be alike. Everybody should be doing something a little bit different. Um, and uh, I want you to start with your recording of Vote to Joy. As you can see, I have mine in here and just pressing play real quick. There it is. And if you forgot how to do that, there's a previous video that is in Teams. Um, by the way, I could change the tempo here to, to anything I'd like. I can wanna try 96. I recorded it slowly. Right? But then I, I pumped it back up and you, you can do that too. Kind of feels like cheating, but it's perfectly okay. Nice recording right on the beat. That's what you want, okay? Good. So I said the first thing that I kind of would like you to do is to add some beats. And um, you may or may not be familiar, there are loops, pre-recorded pieces of music in Soundtrap. And I'd like you to use those to add a loop. So up here in this little purple box, that's the loop browser. And so we're browsing and we're browsing for beats. And this is the loop window. And you can see that I have some filters here. And as I mentioned, I'm looking really first for a beat. So just clicking beats. And these are all alphabetical. Boy, there are so many beats, guys. I mean, there's just a ton. And I think in class, I used this 909 one because a 909 is an old um, drum machine. You can sample it by listening here, okay? If you like that one, click it, bring it in, drop it in the gray area, the white area, and Soundtrap syncs it all up for us. So now there it is, press play, Mr. Wall. All right, okay, next step. I kind of said that I felt like the piano sound is, I don't know, a little, a little cheesy right now. Maybe I want to add that, to, change that to something cooler. To do that, we clicked on this icon here. Click on the category here for pianos. And rather than keyboards, you could pick anything really, but I think some of the synthesizer sounds might be best. Let me move my picture out of the way. And I think in class, I'd use the two bleed. Now, if I just click that, you can see that over here, it has changed already. So I can close all these windows. And now listen to my melody on two bleed along with my beats. Yeah, that's a little better. I could shop around maybe and find something else, okay? But that's, that's basically the minimum of what I'd like. I'd like a beat and a different sound on your melody, okay? But I did show you one more thing, and that was to go back to our loops window. And what I'm really looking for is a bass part, okay? So we can add bass and, boy, I forgot what I'd used in class. Let me just find something. And again, I mean, there's so many in here. I don't even know what they do. I think I did sample laces and we decided laces didn't sound good. Let me go up a little bit. Yeah, maybe Fairlane was the one I'd use. Let me play it. That is the one I used in class, okay? So let me grab that and bring that in. Now, one thing I just wanna point out to everybody, because this one has pitch and it's in a key, we want major scale because Ode to Joy is in a major key. So we wanna bring this in because for it to sound best, we want it to fit with our with our our melody, and our melody is in a major key. So let's use major. Drag that in, drop it, okay, and we'll listen to that. Now we have bass, drums, and melody. Check it out. Yeah, now I'm pretty happy with that, but the bass part doesn't totally fit. I don't know if you noticed, but it's not in the same key. If I look closely. It's saying Fairlane, electric bass 05, pattern 05, and it's in the key of G. You know what, my melody is actually in the key of C. And I can change this bass part. Soundtrap will change it for me. How do I do that? Click the edit button right here. And what we're looking to do is to transpose. Ah, yeah, there it is. It's got the key of G checked. We don't want G, we want C. And then it'll be in the same key as our melody. So let me press that. Now it's gonna sound like it really fits together well. There we go. Okay, very cool. And I could add other things to this, but right now I'm, I'm thinking that's sounding pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, 
All right, gang, that's it. Those were all the steps we went over in class. Again, this isn't due this week. It'll be due next week sometime. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it helpful and uh, I'll see you in class or I'll see you on the next Zoom meeting. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.